Look at the food industry. During the pandemic, American dairy farmers dumped 3.7 million gallons of milk per day. And potato farmers destroyed 1.5 billion tons of their crop. Why? Because it wouldn't be profitable to find ways to give it all away. To their credit, some potato farmers put out a call to have anyone come and take as many potatoes as they wanted, which is certainly better than nothing. But the fact that we have exactly zero infrastructure in place for the emergency distribution of food products is a damning indictment of the soulless, for-profit capitalist system. And farmers aren't even close to the worst offenders. You've probably seen the video of the young Dunkin' Donuts worker who, instead of throwing away excess donuts according to company policy, bagged them up and donated them to the homeless and his local firefighters. For this act of kindness, which cost the company nothing, this person was fired. Let's do a little napkin math. It's not uncommon for a single Dunkin' Donuts store to throw away five dozen donuts or more per night. That's 60 donuts. As of June 1st, 2021, there are 9,291 Dunkin' Donuts locations in the US. If we figure 60 donuts per store per night, that's 557,460 donuts every night. 203 million donuts per year. 4 billion pounds of donuts just thrown away. Okay, but donuts are junk food. It's not like they're keeping healthy meals from people. Well, let's look at grocery stores. Grocery stores throw away over 43 billion pounds of food every year. And that's not just expired food. According to a recent study, a full 50% of the discarded food is still perfectly edible when it's thrown away. This is an unconscionable practice when over 23 million Americans are food insecure. To further hammer home the dystopian nature of our for-profit system, during the pandemic, we saw armed guards blocking people from retrieving food from dumpsters outside grocery stores. Think about that for a minute. People are desperate enough to dig food out of a dumpster during the worst pandemic in our lifetime. And those in power decide not to help distribute food, but to defend our corporate waste with the threat of violence. The US is not the only country at fault here. Other capitalist nations act similarly. We produce enough food to feed every human on Earth, with plenty to spare. But the inherent traits of capitalism disincentivize a common-sense allocation of resources in favor of maximizing profit. These tendencies, the tendencies to cut corners, generate